so start off by telling us about your professional journey and how you got to where you are today as CEO and president of the Ackerman Institute for the Family, and a little bit about being an author of a book. I actually started out um, as a social worker. I got my master's degree in social work at University of Iowa, and I lived in Iowa, had my practice in Iowa, and in addition to being a practitioner, I also taught at the University of Iowa School of Social Work, and I taught people how to do psychotherapy, and in particular, how to do couple and family therapy. And practitioners take two roads. They either become exclusively a practitioner, or they become people that think about best practices, like what really makes a difference in in therapy to help people create the change that they want to create in their lives. And for the people that are thinking about best practices, they usually teach and publish their ideas about what they think worked well, what ideas influenced them, and they try to take the field of psychotherapy they try to add to the knowledge base in the field of psychotherapy. So that was really the path that I took. I've always been a practitioner. I've always seen individual families and couples. And at the same time, I've always been thinking about best practices. So that was part of the path that I walked in Iowa. So I taught at the university. And I also started a training institute in Iowa with other colleagues where we were training people to think about what was then called family systems. And family therapy in the early days was a very revolutionary way of practicing because most people were seen individually and they were seen from a model that was primarily psychodynamic. And family systems theory said that you wanna understand the problem that you have in the context that it occurs. And so most of our difficulties happen in the context of family. And so people started to develop ideas about why it was happening, what families could do to help the person who was this carrier of the symptoms, whether they were anxiety or depression or school difficulties or behavioral difficulties, whatever the dilemma was. And they started to look at how family interactions influenced the development of the problem and influenced the solution of the problem. So then rather than families being seen as the cause of the problem, which in old psychodynamic ways, the mother and father were seen as the problem, um, as they were seen as a resource. The family was seen as a resource to help solve the problem. So there was a very radically different idea. And so we began a training institute, as there were many other training institutes in the United States starting at that time, about how to train individual therapists to become family therapists. As part of that, there was a national organization that was formed of teachers and trainers of family therapy. And I became involved in that organization. In that organization, I met people who were part of the Ackerman Institute for the Family in New York. And over the years, they saw the development of my work because we presented work at these conferences that we were doing, and I saw their work. And when they were looking for a new CEO and president of the Ackerman Institute, they asked me to apply for the job. I had been living in Iowa for 32 years. My children were grown, and I thought, oh, why not? <laughs> That's how I got to New York. I was recruited.